Oh no. It looks a little bit like what they feed Oliver Twist. Look at that. Will I successfully flip an omelette? to my channel welcome to another video today we're once again in my kitchen while i look incredibly rough because i've just got up and in like 45 minutes to an hour i'm about to go for a run so i'm wearing like weird workout clothes i thought i would start off with showing you what i've been having for breakfast recently i've actually kind of changed this up i alternate between shreddies which i have a lot if you watch these videos you will know and then on the days where i'm really trying not to snack i've been wanting to have food that just fills me up a little bit more because i am the worst for snacking and being in lockdown being in quarantine it is so easy to just go to your kitchen and get a snack go to your kitchen and get a snack and i didn't want to start doing that because i knew that that was a slippery slope. So I thought if I have meals that fill me up a little bit more, hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't need to be doing that as much. So I have been starting off my days with like some kind of porridge, a like variant of porridge or like porridge with different things in it, just to try and stay full a little bit longer and also to have that bit more energy whilst also still having quite a healthy breakfast. So the first thing I've been doing is putting 30 grams of porridge oats, which are literally just like these packet ones, into my bowl. This is just a recipe I got off Google, honestly, like it's nothing special. Now, we're very nearly out of oats, so that is enough. That's what 30 oats looks like in a- 30 grams of oats, not 30 oats, oh my god. 30 grams of oats looks like in a bowl, it's really not a lot. And then the online recipe says you want 200 grams of liquid, so I go with 100 grams of coconut milk and then 100 grams of water, but that is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna do 70 grams of each instead. I kind of do just improvise, like I'm not a chef. I think you've all established that by now. So when it gets to 100, is that enough? Swirl it round. And then I'm gonna put 70 grams of water in. That should be there or thereabouts. Yeah, perfect. And then I just give this watery concoction a big stir and pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then when I take it out, I stir it and then put it back in again for another 90 seconds. <coughs> So after 90 seconds, this is what it looks like. And I do think this is a little bit like gross looking. It looks a little bit like what they feed Oliver Twist. Pops it back in the microwave for another 60 seconds rather than another 90 just because it didn't look like it would need 90. I'm just going to prepare my toppings. I always put fruit on top of porridge. I just think it's a good way to have like one of your five a day. So today I'm going with a banana because these clearly need using up. And then I've got coconut flakes and a little bit of chocolate Easter egg I have left over. A disaster has occurred. Oh no. Oh dear. Ah! Just keeping it real because clearly I am a mess. Let me sort this out and salvage what I can. For God's sake, man. This is not one for the gram, is it? Okay, so it's been sort of salvageable. It's just on this plate so it doesn't make a sticky mess. But what I'm gonna do now is just drop a little bit of chocolate in, literally not a lot, like this kind of amount. Um, maybe, maybe just all of these little bits, actually, these three. And that'll dissolve in kind of the same as if you'd put like chocolate spread or Nutella in. Just because personally, I prefer the flavour when it's chocolatey. Um, and this is really good without adding loads of like sugary stuff. Okay, when all the chocolate is dissolved, it should go like obviously a brown colour. And now I'm just going to chop up my banana. Well, honestly, it looks a mess, but trust me, it's delicious. Don't go off looks always, guys. There we go. And then you just add that. Perfect. And then the final step is the coconut flakes. Now these are like one pound from, I got these in the co-op, but literally anywhere. And you just sprinkle these like this. Oh, they're so good. They add good amounts of flavor. And there you go, a perfect breakfast. Usually it doesn't explode in the microwave. Here we go, I'm just gonna go and sit and eat this. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have this every single day. And also I usually alternate between like a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or just water with it. Um, because I don't drink as much fruit juice as I used to, but if I was gonna drink fruit juice, my current favorite is pineapple juice. Um, but I'm just gonna go and eat this, have a glass of water, and then later go on a run, so I'll get back to you at lunchtime. If you're gonna follow this at home, keep an eye on it while it's in the microwave because um, otherwise it explodes and makes a massive mess and you don't want to be clearing that up, that's just effort, so. So potentially this entire video is gonna take place in my kitchen, uh, sorry about that. Obviously that's why you mainly eat and prepare food. So it's now lunchtime, it's quarter past one and I'm gonna make an omelette. Again, if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I usually have some kind of eggs for lunch. So today we're going for an omelette. 
Sorry if you can hear the washing machine, that's a bit loud. Nothing I can do about that. The first thing I'm obviously gonna do is get some eggs. Okay, preparation time. So you crack egg number one into your little jug that you're gonna mix everything together in. Egg number two. I've recently got a lot better at cracking eggs because um, now I can do it with no shell getting in. I have genuinely been loving omelettes recently. It's literally my go-to, so I feel like I've really nailed it. Key ingredient in an omelette for me absolutely has to be cheese. Probably about that much. There is literally no specific measurements here. Then I add just a little bit of frozen onions, like ready chopped onions. Then in fairness, I have never done this before, but I'm gonna add frozen sweet corn because personally I love sweet corn. I don't know if that's a weird thing to add. And the last thing, my dad just recently went to M&S. We never shop in M&S and he's got this mixed bag of stuff and I just think there should not be rocket mixed with spinach because spinach is nice and rocket is not. So I'm gonna pick the spinach out. Spinach, 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 spinach. Is that spinach? That's not spinach. Spinach. And I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Just a splash. Right, I'll sort that situation out later. Give that another little mix so that the milk mixes in. And that is your perfect omelette mix. This is like such a filling lunch, it's really good. That's actually hilarious, I'm gonna have to move that. You get your incredible spray. This is amazing for making things not stick in this pan. Turn the heat on, pretty high. Spray, like that. Now, whenever there's spinach in an omelette, it usually doesn't stick as well, but whatever, here we go. There we go, omelette time. Now that genuinely takes about two minutes until it needs flipping, so I shall get back to you. Here is the question. Will I successfully flip an omelette? Vote in the comments below, or will it end up as scrambled eggs? Because a lot of the time it does. I know that is not how you cut pepper. And we're back. I think maybe it's time to flip it. Oh, 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 it's no. Cry me a river. See, I knew it was burning on that side, but this side's still so watery. We can salvage it. I believe in you. Right, I'll give that another minute. It's it's a bit of a mess, but it's still it still looks like an omelette. I think I think it's about done. Get your little spatula out. This is where it all breaks up when you put it on the plate anyway. Oh no, do you know what? That I recovered that pretty well. Like I don't think that looks too burnt at all. On the other side, different story. On that side, perfect. Then I never really eat an omelette without putting a tiny bit more cheese back on the top to like melt in while it cools down. So just literally a sprinkling like that. And then I also have an Actimel immune system to go with my lunch and I'm gonna have a big old glass of water and there you have it wait we're missing the essential this bad boy perfect lunch and let me tell you I am excited to eat this I am very very sorry about the background noise of the extractor pan and the washing machine we're just sticking with the real life theme of this video I can't cook porridge I can't flip an omelette you know what we're showing that I am NOT a perfect chef however I do think you all already knew that Honestly, could not tell you where today has gone, but it is now like 5 p.m. And I've just been in my office working for the last four hours. I had so much boring stuff to do, to be honest. So now I'm feeling a little snack slash a drink. I mean, gonna go make myself an iced coffee. It's not really a snack, but I thought I would film it and include it because I've had so many questions whenever I put it on my Instagram story about how I make this specific iced coffee. Honestly, it's not that tricky, so I thought I'd show you. Okay, so I actually make this with coconut milk. I think this is not gonna be enough though. This is quite empty, so I'll get another one out. And then even though this is an iced coffee, do still boil the kettle. Just You just need the tiniest bit of water, but obviously just boil like a regular amount. Pop some ice cubes in your glass of choice. If you don't have ice cubes, you can make it without. So then to a separate mug, you just add a tiny amount of water, like honestly, not much more than kind of like that. And then add to that water a spoonful of like your favorite coffee, just any, I have decaf coffee because I don't love caffeine. Um, and then just dissolve that in the hot water, like around that much. Obviously there's not very much water in this cup at all. Now that does dissolve pretty much straight away. You could add sugar to this. I actually then add just like a little bit of honey just because I don't love adding sugar to drinks, like hot drinks, but I do love honey just flavoring it a little bit because when I have a regular coffee in like Starbucks or Costa, I'll have like sometimes a shot of vanilla or a shot of caramel. However, because it is coconut milk, that does actually flavor the drink. So you don't actually need it as much. So just a little dollop of honey. 
And then when it's done, this is the best bit, you just pour this straight in to the drink. And then you mix it. Look at that. Oh, that just looks amazing. Honestly, guys, try it if you haven't already. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. So it is now dinner time. It's just after 6 p.m. And my mum has actually just been making tea for tonight. So we are having jacket potatoes with an assortment of toppings. I think there are beans, tuna, cheese, salad, whole array of different things. Um, and it just depends really on like the day as to who's cooked. But usually it's my mum. On the weekend, my dad will cook. Occasionally, recently, especially during lockdown, I have been cooking occasionally, but yeah, it just depends on the day. But today my mum has made jack potatoes and like a whole shebang and I'm very excited to go and eat it. So this is what it looks like. Harry's got fish finger sandwiches instead because he doesn't like jack potato. This is what we are having. I'm going to have a mixture of all three toppings. Let me know down below what you would put on a jack potato. Sometimes we have chilli with it actually. So for dessert, I thought... <laughs> Lottie, they're not for you. They're really not. For dessert, my mum actually baked these buns today and they don't look as good as they probably taste. The topping is butterscotch and jam. Sounds like a weird combination, but I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. It's just a really small like fairy cake. So I'm gonna eat this now. Right, so they might not look like Mary Berry level produced, but oh, these yeah, taste. Keep pointing it out. Uh -huh. Okay guys, it is now around 9pm and I have just finished up editing for the evening so I'm going to go and sit downstairs with my family and watch the next episode of The Imagineering Story which is actually what we're watching on Disney Plus at the minute but I have just had to make a cup of tea so I'm going to go and grab a little snack. Evenings are definitely my downfall. This is when I just want to eat all of the sugary foods. So I'm going to probably have some biscuits or maybe a little bit of Easter egg because I actually still have Easter egg left. I eat chocolate so slowly. I thought I'd be honest because the evenings are my downfall. But this is our biscuits selection they're mainly just like malted milk so whatever these are called couple of rogue oreos and a bourbon i don't really know if i'm feeling any of these so i might just have a little bit of easter egg even though these do look tempting uh, my favorite biscuit is a digestive though if they'd have had digestives in here i would have definitely been sold these are the easter eggs that i have left there's another cabri one like half of one in here and then this flake one and then this thornton's one so i think there's also some chocolate bars yeah there are oh do i want one of these maybe you know who's always there whenever i'm eating food this one because this is the greediest dog you will ever meet yes you are oh but you're just so cute guys i have just got ready for bed i need to actually get changed but i've like, taken off my makeup put in my retainers put some cream on this spot because Ew. My skin is just not great at the moment. I don't actually know why. But I'm going to end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a bit of insight. I get requests to do this video all the time. And sometimes I'm like, I don't know why you want to watch that. I feel like I just eat quite boring, quite plain. However, I enjoy it. I think generally it's pretty balanced. And I'm definitely aiming and trying to learn to cook a little bit better. Eat a little bit better. Just live a little bit healthier during lockdown. Like That's my main goal. I spoke about it in my vlog the other day. So if you are interested in what I'm up to, on a day to day obviously it's pretty much the same as most other people but i will be uploading vlogs every saturday there will be one coming this weekend but if you've enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up comment down below what's your jacket potato topping let me know <laughs> honestly guys what have these videos come to anyway subscribe if you are new to my channel and you want to see more let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see from me what kind of things you're enjoying watching whilst in lockdown and i should be back on my channel on saturday morning with a vlog bye guys <laughs>